So, are you ready for egg number 10? So, before I read and open this, let's go through the items again, okay? We have the donkey. Jesus rode on a donkey as he entered the city of Jerusalem. Silver coins. 30 silver coins for Judas, who betrayed Jesus. The cup of the blood of Jesus, to remind us of how he shed his blood for us. Praying hands. Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray and talk to God. A whip. He was um, punished and beaten by um, soldiers using a whip. We have our rooster. Peter denied Jesus three times before the rooster crowed twice. So the soldiers were making fun of Jesus and gave him a crown of thorns. And then we have the nails that were used to crucify Jesus. Put him up on a cross. And then, when he was dead on a cross, a soldier came, used his spear, and pierced through the side of Jesus. And what came out? Blood and water. It's not just blood, there was water too. And so, for our next egg, the light blue egg, I'm not hearing any sound, but we'll see. Let me read it to you. When it was evening, there came a rich man named Joseph. He was a friend of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body of Jesus and wrapped it in a clean linen and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in a rock. And then he rolled a great stone of the entrance of the tomb and went away. So Joseph came. He's one of Jesus' friends. And he loved Jesus so much. And he didn't want to just leave Jesus there dead, not being cleaned or not buried. So, let's see what's inside to remind us of how Jesus was prepared. How his body was prepared before it was placed in a tomb. We have a cloth. You remember when we did um, the story of Lazarus? He was bound with a grave's clothes. And so this is the same for Jesus. He was wrapped in white fine linen. And then he was buried in a tomb. So Joseph came and prepared Jesus' body, cleaned it up, wrapped it in a, in a linen cloth before it was placed in a tomb. So that's our egg number 10.